Okay, friends, here we go. Um, I just want to cover something really fast here with you, talking about um, the mystery. Jonathan is always talking about the mystery. He's supposed to solve the mystery. How many times have we heard he's been told by God to solve the mystery? God's going to use him to solve the mystery. Well, I got news for you folks. The mystery was solved 2,000 years ago by the Apostle Paul. Um, the reason I'm doing this for you, if you look down here at uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 4, it talks about not allowing any man to beguile you, okay, to seduce you uh, with lies and deception. So that's the reason I'm heading in this direction. So we got uh, Colossians verse 26, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to the saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ is the mystery. It's not, you know, Jonathan Clegg identifying bad guys every day, all day. Um, he just did a video here, Sri Lanka, Christian attack, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to play just a little snippet of this, and then we're going to cover some things really quick here. So stand by. Here we go. Do you mean like brother of understanding sitting in a bloodbath with a clothing line called hunted for dinner with an angel on it? What about this girl? She's got on, a, it says, of, you know, like you're of that race, O-F. They say it means odd future, but it's O-F-W-G-K-T-A. Uh, you know what? Pull it up. Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. Let me show you. That's what they're doing. And they're using the host body system to do it. This proves it. Again, and again, and again. I told you, this is what's up. This is not refutable now. This has been solved. This is the mystery of all mysteries. Wrong. It's not the mystery of all mysteries. The, to say that, um, you know, it's a big mystery that Satan wanders around like a roaring lion, you know, seeking who may devour. I mean, all you got to do is look up the scripture here. First uh, Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, self-controlled, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring liar, seeking whom he may devour. And his other translations, but the message is the same. So, um, and, and we talk about, you know, the, all this was prophesied in the Bible, again, 2,000 years ago, of how it would be that they would be trying to attack Christians. And, and so this is no mystery. Christ says, if, if they hated me, you know, they're going to hate you. Or if they hate you, remember, they, they hated me first. There's no mystery. There's no mystery about this. Even the mystery, which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but is now manifest to his saints. There's no mystery. And then you've got all these other parallel verses over here that talk about it. And here we go. We've got Paul talking about the suffering in the church. That would be like us the body, the church. Um, I became its servant by the commission God gave me to fully proclaim to you the word of God, the mystery that has been hidden for ages and generations is now revealed to his saints. To them God has chose to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of the mystery which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And it goes and it gives you all these other verses. I'm going to keep this short. Talks the same thing talking about in Romans, Ephesians, um, Colossians, as I pointed out. So there's no mystery. Where's the mystery, Cleck? And so if you want to get more and more and more into it, just take a listen to this. Question, what is the mystery of God referred to in the Bible? Answer, the Bible tells us that the mystery of God is Jesus Christ. My purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, 
so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians 2 colon 2 3. A mystery in the New Testament is something that had at one time been hidden but is now revealed to God's people. Jesus spoke of the mystery of the Kingdom of God, Mark 4:11, NAS, that he was at that point revealing to his disciples. The Apostle Paul used the word mystery 21 times in his epistles. In each case, the mystery involved a wonderful declaration of spiritual truth, revealed by God through divine inspiration. A mystery is that which was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets, Ephesians 3 5. The mystery of God's will is that which he purposed in Christ, to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ, Ephesians 1 910, CF 1 Corinthians 2 colon 7, Revelation 2 colon 7. The mystery of God is the consummation of God's plan in bringing his kingdom in Christ to fulfillment. The kingdom had long been prophesied, but the how and the when and the by whom was not clear until the time of Christ. It is in Christ that God has been manifested to all of mankind. As Jesus said, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father, John 14, 9. Paul said that he had been commissioned to preach the word of God in its fullness the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people, Colossians 1, 25, 26. That is, it is through the apostles that we have been given the capstone of scripture, their writings, all of which point to Christ represent the final disclosure of God's word to mankind. There is no understanding of God apart from a personal relationship with his son, Matthew 12:50, John 14, 23, 2 John 1, 6. Christ is the mystery revealed to those who believe as is the mystery of Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1, 27. The key to having the full riches of complete understanding, Colossians 2, 2, is to be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God, 1 Corinthians 2:10. Paul tells us that, beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. Then he records what may be an early hymn of the church, he Jesus appeared in a body, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory, 1 Timothy 3:16. In that short paragraph, the Bible reveals the heart of the Gospel, the mystery of true godliness. The secret of being godly was hidden but is now revealed. It is to those who believe in Christ that the mystery is made known, 1 Corinthians 2 colon 7 14, Colossians 1 27. We come to learn that we of our own volition cannot please God, we must depend on Christ, 2 Corinthians 3 colon 5. As a man, Jesus lived a perfect life, 2 Corinthians 5.21, Hebrews 4.15, Hebrews 7.21, and so he is a perfect example of how to live. As God, Jesus gives us the power to do what is right. It is possible to live a godly life through the power of Christ, Philippians 4.13. God has revealed his complete word to his saints, Colossians 1.26, who have heard and learned the gospel. John 6:45, CF Romans 10:17 and John 3:16-18, and it is they alone who fathom the glorious riches of this mystery, Colossians 1:27. In its fullest sense, the mystery of God is God's plan of salvation through Jesus. We would never have been able to comprehend the way to eternal life without the coming of Jesus, his death and resurrection. Amen to that. So, I'm going to Pull the plug on this thing right here, right now. But uh, I'm begging you guys, I'm begging you, please study the Bible. Don't let this guy brainwash you guys and twist scripture and turn your head upside down and inside out and play all these mind games with you he's playing. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, he sees some stuff in artwork. We give him credit for that. Yeah, he's seen some stuff in the Vatican. We give him credit for that. But, you you know, that doesn't make everything else he's saying 
accurate. So, you know, give the brother credit for what he's, you know, right about, but rebuke him and reprove him or chastise him or call him out on what he's wrong about. Okay? Be truthful. Be truthful. Be honest. And with that, love you. If I can do anything for you, let us know. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. God bless you. Bye now.